Greetings, Dennis Daniels here. I am using anything LLM to learn about uh, APIs specifically. Uh, where is it? Specifically, uh, HTTPN uh, bin, which is right here. And it's got lots of documentation and it's apparently free. Uh, and my results so far with this have been mixed at best. Uh, let's go back. So I did load the web page uh, using the data connector, and I uh, use the scraper to grab the data, which is then loaded into HTTPN. This um, this really needs a file management system of some kind because if you start building multiple workspaces, you're quickly going to get overloaded with stuff. Um, don't know why this file has been cached, but here it is, HTTPN, and the initial part was, well, okay, mildly successful. Um, Scrolling up. All right, so I asked it for using Git, and it generated that. Pretty straightforward. Uh, nothing fancy. Um, then I asked for it to give a JSON response. And curiously, if you look at the documentation here, uh, you'll see that all of the responses now maybe because it didn't see the execute uh, if i refresh this page if i refresh the page maybe the documentation doesn't specify what the command is and it looks like my internet has died or this website has died. Okay, uh, so something's happening. Okay, so we open this up and we open that up. Okay, so the documentation, you won't see, actually maybe you don't even see what the full request is until you open up and execute. Now that would explain why uh, when I asked for application JSON, I was expecting application JSON, it gave me the arg, these arg commands, which didn't, which is not what I wanted, but maybe because the documentation didn't include uh, this curl command unless you executed the code, maybe. That being said, we go back <clears throat> And I tried to teach uh, the algorithm, uh, the the language model to use code that does work. And in this case, uh, this code did work. All the others didn't. Uh, the code that was generated by Mistral, uh, none of the code worked except for this one here. And this one I copy and pasted from a website. And so I used that uh, to great success, and I trained the LLM to use it. And you can see here is the um, here is the accept HTML. That's getting everything. Uh, and we go down, and this is where I I told it to specifically get the H1, and it responded with the H1, all of it. Now I used that. I trained it. Uh, there's no indication in the UI that this has been passed into the language model, but I said same code, but for div. And you go down here. Okay, can't scroll down. There we go. Uh, and it tried. Uh, it used the same code, but because this is curl, uh, you may not get, you may, actually, we may not get anything because this is a 503 right now the server might be down. So let's go ahead and try it anyway. Uh, all right, so it is trying to do something. And because I used X, uh, I X, uh, specified explicit 
returns on get and it didn't tell me it didn't give me anything back now uh, that is curious because when I run the h1 command I get a response. So curl is not for scraping. Everybody knows that. At least I know it now. Uh, so there's good and there's bad here. Um, and finally, I asked for it. Uh, I asked for it to give to generate a UUID. And in this case, I'm going to go with the S, which means it's silent. So it's not going to give me anything except the response. Hopefully, it works. Okay, it worked this time. So it did work. So that's uh, that's positive. Uh, I might have spec. I might have been uh, more specific, and I could try to train it and see if it if it will work. Now I'm going to edit this response. Edit the response. Or and I'm going to be specific uh, and say curl X and just to a sanity check make sure it does work yeah so now I've submitted this uh, I will save and submit and now uh, da, 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 where to go where to go yeah okay it's right there now I'm going to uh, specify I'm going to send a new message uh, get the UUID explicitly and this is this is a bit of a trick because X uh, dash X means explicit and so it it's gonna have to reference what it knows it the algorithm knows about UUI about curl and how to pass an explicit command because it does know right here and we can take a look at my CPU, which is probably dying. Yeah, it's, uh, it's CPUs are, are maxed out as well as the RAM. So my results might be suspicious. Okay. Uh, Oh, and now it's giving me, uh, all right, so I, you remember I just edited the, uh, the S and the X, so it did respond with my new data. Uh, so pretty excited about that. Thanks for watching. Lots to learn here about how to manipulate APIs through a large language model. Uh, thanks for watching. Happy computing.